Hello guys, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day. So one of the viewer asked me about the governor static charge discharge. So the question is a lot elaborated, so it's quite difficult for me to explain in terms of simple answer. So for GCD governor static charge discharge, first you should know about your current density, which current density you want to play around. Based on your mass that you already know, you can get the value of current. Because current density equal to current divided by your mass if you study the gravimetric. So, for example, your mass is 0 0.5 milligram. To get current for 1 ampere per gram, your current should be 0 0.5 milliampere. So, for 2 ampere per gram, you just times 2. It's quite easy to get that. So, the problem is, okay, for example, you have your potential window. Your potential window, for example, is from 0 to 1 volt. So, for example, certain material, they are incapable to achieve the potential window. That's why you can see the very long charging process. Because if you set the current density, you input the power of current, uh, around 0 0.5 milliampere, if your material cannot achieve that amount of current it will continue charging until you can see a very long charging or a very constant uh, what we call that GCD curve so it's not good for your materials means that the incapability of your material to meet the criteria to meet the uh, to meet the certain potential window at certain current that you provide okay that's the main problem so the solution to the problem is you should increase your current density. Increase slowly. You can increase to 2 ampere per gram, which instead of using 0 0.5 milliampere, you are using 1 milliampere. Then you can increase slowly to 1.5, 2 milliampere, 2.5, 3 milliampere, and so on. So depend on your material. And one of the drawback is people will say that when you increase the current density, your discharging time will be faster, it will be shorter. So the value of specific capacity, specific energy and power you get might be a little bit reduced. Okay, that's the main problem in terms of that. But it's normal to that. The only if you want tackle in terms of inserting different amount of current. So you can just plot like that. However, if you want to modify your material, you can try a new combination, a new mass loading, even a new technique to be able for your material to meet the criteria that can achieve certain potential window at low current density. However, in terms of real application, we prefer high current density, the material that can produce a good and comparable specific capacity, specific, specific power and also specific energy at high uh, current density. So I hope this answer your question. So it's like uh, elaborated and I didn't even see the curve, how the curve, the problem that you are facing. So that's all I think. I hope it can help you. Okay, that's all. Bye.